What the fast tech? In this one, I'm gonna show you how to fix your PS5 Digital Edition if it's no longer turning on. I'm gonna show you how to correctly diagnose this problem and replace the power supply if necessary. And like every other Fast Tech video, because I am kind, generous, and giving, disassembly and reassembly is shown in detail. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. FastTechStore.com carries all PlayStation 5 parts from fans, lasers, boards, and more. Check the links in the description box and the top comment. All of our parts include a lifetime warranty and free worldwide shipping. Use coupon code YouTube for a discount. Before you do anything that I'm about to show you in this video, make sure the power cable is plugged in properly. You'd be surprised at how many people make this mistake. If there's no beep sound when you press the power button and there's no light indicator at the front, this video applies to you. You can check your console's model number here. This one is a PS5 Digital Edition CFI 1015B. We're going to start by taking this cover off like this. Now we're going to flip the PS5 over and take the cover off on the other side from here. Next we're going to remove this Phillips screw. If you have an SSD installed, you're going to have to remove it at this point. Now this piece of plastic trim must be lifted up like this. Next, we're going to use a pry tool to take this sticker off. This metal pry tool is part of the Fast Tech Pro Toolkit, which disassembles all electronics. Now let's remove this connector like this. And now we're going to switch to a Torx T9H on our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit to remove these four screws. The Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit is an automatic screwdriver that's going to save you a lot of time when doing disassemblies. With those screws out, we can lift up the cover and then lift out the fan. Next, we're going to remove these Torx T9 H screws. This bit is available in all of our screwdrivers. With the screws out, we can lift up this piece. The antenna connectors can be removed by lifting them up. These two ribbon cables are going to be pulled out like this. Now let's flip the console over and there are two Torx T9H machine screws that we need to remove. These screws are designed to go in metal. Now we can lift up this entire section, but be careful, there is a ribbon cable at the front that we do not want to break. Let's push this piece up and let's get the power supply out. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can test to see if your power supply is blown. We're going to need a multimeter. We're going to set it to volts so we can detect voltage. We're going to plug in the AC power cable in the power supply and we're going to use the two probes to test for voltage. A non-working power supply would output zero volts as shown here, while a working power supply should output 12 volts. This is how you find out if you have a faulty PS5 power supply. Now, before ordering a replacement, make sure you check your model number here and order one accordingly. For a 1100 series, these power supplies will work, which are the ADP 400DR, the ADP 400 ER which is from an 1100 series but does work on a 1000 series and also this one here will also work. If you have a 1200 series PS5 which is the last of the fat PS5s you can check here once again doesn't matter if it's disc edition or digital you're gonna need an ADP 400 FR or this one here. Now that you figured out the power supply is the problem you can head over to fasttechstore.com and pick one up with a lifetime warranty and free worldwide shipping. This antenna has to be moved over to the new power supply. 
We're gonna put the antenna in its place and then push it till you hear a click sound. Now we can put the power supply in like so and make sure these antenna wires are routed like this. Now the motherboard and the heatsink assembly is ready to be installed in the case. These antenna wires go through here. Now we're going to put the antenna wires under these tapes I had masterfully preserved. Next we're going to install the antenna connectors by lining them up and then pushing down till you hear an audible click. Now we're going to install this ribbon cable in like this all the way to the blue line. Same with this one here. Now we can install the top case back on and I'm going to show you where each of the screws goes in. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. This one, well, you get the point. There is no other channel on YouTube that's showing you how to do reassemblies in this much detail. So please go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe. As it costs you nothing, but it helps us out a lot. Now let's put the fan back in and we're going to install the connector. Now the fan cover has to go back on. These two machine screws that are equal in length go in here and here on the right side. This screw with a plastic thread goes in here. And the shorter screw goes in here. It's important not to mix these up. You will be shocked to find that yours truly made a mistake earlier by not tightening this screw. Now we're gonna put the fan connector cover back on, like this. This air vent grate goes in like this. The corners go in first, and then you can push it down from the middle, like so. These two machine screws go on the other side, here and here. If you had an expansion SSD, now's the time to install it. And then this cover goes on. And now we're going to install this Phillips screw here. Now let's install the side covers back on. Now it's time for testing. Looks like this PS5 is working as it should. This video was extremely difficult to produce. Not only because of all the detail we show that others don't, but also because while I was working on this video, I was having audio interference related issues because of the weekend's stupid show behind me at the Rogers Center. Hey, Weekend, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to make a fast tech video here.
But despite all the challenges and now being surrounded by white women with STDs, I still persevered. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out, and I'll see you in the next one.